Hello everyone. So welcome back. Today we'll learn what is numerical integration and we'll uh, derive general quadrature formula, which is also known as Newton's quad formula. Now, what is numerical integration? So numerical integration is a process where a definite integral. So we know that what is definite integral? This is a to b f of x dx. So these type of integrals, uh, integrals are called what? Definite integral. Why definite integral? Because after integrating, we will get a uh, fixed value. Okay, and here a is the lower limit and b is the what upper limit. But sometimes what happen if we if this particular function no, f of x is not completely known to us or it's a little bit uh, complicated function, then how to integrate it? Okay, then also we can integrate it from a set of tabulated values. Means we'll find the intermediate values, some intermediate values of f of x. And then within the range a to b we can integrate it and that particular process is called what numerical integration okay but if y is a function of x means single variable suppose here y is a dependent variable and x is what x is independent variable if y is dependent on only on x sometimes the function may be like this also suppose x comma suppose some other variable then so it is not like that if it is a single variable function then the process of finding this particular uh, integration is called what quadrature and based on that quadrature we will derive general quadrature formula or this is also called uh, newton quotes formula okay so this is very very important because after this lecture we will uh, learn some other numerical integration method known as trapezoidal rule simpson's one third formula then simpson's three by eight so all those formulas are related to this particular formula, general quadrature formula. So here, what to do? We have to find, suppose this is the integral, let integration a to b f of x dx. So this is one definite integral, okay? This to be evaluated, okay? To be. So this particular integration, we have to evaluate and uh, find a general formula. General formula means, which can be applicable in uh, other formulas also for different uh, values of different values of n. What is n that I'm going to tell now? Now here see the range is a and b. Okay, from a to b we have to integrate it. So the lower limit is a, and the upper limit is what b. Let us divide this particular range into some sub intervals and these sub intervals are what equal sub intervals okay so let the first number be x naught let it be denoted by x naught then this is x1 x2 x3 x4 like this the last number will be x n minus 1 and the finally b is what x n so how many arguments we are writing here if you count it x naught x1 x2 like this if you count then you see that there are n plus 1 arguments okay n plus 1 arguments then how many sub intervals this is the first sub interval x not x1 then second sub interval okay third sub interval so like this how many sub intervals are there n sub intervals okay n sub intervals so this is very important suppose uh, let h equals to b minus a divided by n so what is h h is the length of each sub interval so from here to here the length is how much h again the from here to here the length is how much h so these are all equidistant okay so i will define this h h equals to last number minus first number divided by total number of subdivision that uh, how many subdivision you want suppose you want n subdivisions so by this we have to divide suppose if we want 10 subdivision then it will be b minus a divided by what n okay so this h is very very important so how many arguments we have taken we have taken n plus one arguments and n sub intervals okay and sub intervals now see since uh, a is our x naught then what is our x1 how we find x1 you see the difference between x0 and x1 is h difference between x1 and x0 is h so from here our x1 will be how much x0 plus h then 
x2 minus x1 is again h because they are equidistant. So x2 equals to how much? x1 plus h. Or we can write x1 means what? x0 plus h. So if you put the value of x1, it will be x0 plus how much? twice h. So like this, if you continue, our last value xn is equals to x0 plus nh. If it is x1, then it is 1h. If it is x2, then twice h. If it is x3, then it will be 3h. So if you continue like this, our xn will be x0 plus nh. Okay, so is it clear? We have divided uh, the range a, b into n sub intervals. The first sub, -sub interval is x0, x1, then x1, x2, then x2, x3. So, like this, the last sub, -sub interval will be xn minus 1, xn. So, this is the, the first part that we did that we have divided the range a, b into m, a, n sub intervals. So, let closed interval a, b be divided divided into n sub intervals okay n sub intervals so the points are n sub intervals each of equal length okay each of equal length equal length Each of equal length. What is the equal length? H and H is how much? B minus A divided by N. So that you have to remember B minus A divided by N. And the sub intervals are like this no? X0, then X1, X1 is our how, how much? X0 plus H, then X2, X2 is our X0 plus twice H. So in this way, the last number is what? xn is x0 plus nh okay so this number first number is a and the last number no x0 uh, plus nh it is b so all the numbers are in between a and b now the function is y equals to f of x okay y equals to f of x. this is the function f of x so if we put x0 there we will get some number let it be y0 then if we put x1 our value will be what y1 then for x2 it will be y2 and for xn this is y so these are all what entries okay we all know from our previous uh, classes that x0 x1 x2 these are arguments and y0 y1 y2 yn these are what these are all entries okay. so now let us integrate it so now integration a to b f of x dx so this is equals to integration a in place of a we can write x naught and in place of b you can write x naught plus nh then f of x dx now here we use newton's forward interpolation formula so i think you all know what is uh, the formula for newton's forward interpolation formula because you already did in uh, in one lecture so if you didn't want to watch that particular video kindly go and uh, see it uh, what is newton's forward interpolation formula so that particular formula we have to use here okay so this is equals to integration okay. for the time being i'm not writing the limit so what is newton's forward interpolation formula it's uh, y naught u delta y naught plus u u minus 1 by 2 factorial then delta square y naught u u minus 1 u minus 2 by 3 factorial 3 factorial delta q y naught then the other terms will follow okay now the thing is that see the above line here all the terms are in terms of x limit is x naught x naught plus nh the function is f of x and then dx but here we have changed each and everything in terms of what in terms of u so i think you still remember what is u right so where, where u u equals to how much x minus x naught by h 
in product interpolation formula it is x minus x not by, by h but in backward formula x not will be replaced by what x n so it's x minus x not by h so if you cross multiply it you will get x minus x not equals to u h this means our x equals to x not plus u h so let us differentiate it so dx will be equals to h into du okay so now in place of dx what we can write we can write h du is it all right because all the variables are replaced in uh, replaced in terms of u so dx we cannot write so let us substitute u equals to x minus x1 by h and from there uh, we have to replace dx by h into du now what about the limit okay so let us think about the limit so what is the initial limit you see the lower limit is here yeah, the lower limit is how much lower limit is x naught and the upper limit is what x naught plus nh but both the both the limits are in terms of x so when x equals to x naught so where will put this particular limit you can put here okay in this line so if you put x equals to x naught uh will become zero so that means u equal to zero so our lower limit becomes zero and upper limit is what x equals to x naught plus uh, nh so if we put here in the same line this line uh, in place of x if we put x naught plus nh again x naught x naught cancel our nh will be equals to uh h is cancel so um, n will be equals to u so the new limit is 0 to n okay is it all right so the new limit is 0 to n because whenever you substitute no our limit gets changed so so this is the forward interpolation formula with the, the limit 0 to n so now this one we have to integrate so h is constant so let us take it outside now what is the first term you know sorry why not so if why not is a constant so why not and if you integrate it so it's integration du integration du is how much only u then the next term delta y not is constant now we have to integrate u so integration u is how much u square by 2 okay u square by 2 plus then delta square y naught by 2 factorial let it be outside so what we have you have uh, u into u minus 1 right we have u into u minus 1 so if you split it it will be u square minus u so first let us integrate u square integration u square is how much u cube by 3 and integration u is u square by 2 then the, then one more term let us integrate one one more term plus now we have delta q y naught by 3 factorial let us uh, keep this particular term outside then what we have we have uh, u u minus 1 and then what u minus 2 so it's u u square minus 3u plus 2 so it will be our u cube minus 3u square plus twice u so if you integrate it first is u cube so integration is u to the power 4 by 4 then uh, minus 3 into integration u square is u cube by 3 then 2 into integration u is u square by 2 okay so plus dot other terms will follow so integration done so after integration you have to put the limit the limit is what limit is uh, 0 to n so our limit is what 0 to n so before putting the limit uh, let us simplify a little bit so the upper limit is n so in place of all the u's we have to put n and uh, when you put the lower limit i think each and every term will become zero see with each term we have u so if you put the lower limit which is zero then uh, completely uh, it will be zero so just we have to put the upper limit so what is the first term upper limit is n so our first term will be n y not so in place of u we have to put n then plus next term is uh, 
u square by 2 na so if we put n it is n square by 2 delta y naught plus how much it is uh, there is one factorial 2 na so if we multiply this factorial 2 with inside then it will be your uh, u cube by 3 so u cube is now n cube divided by 3 and there is one factorial 2 if you multiply this together then it will be n cube by 6 the next is u square by 2 our u square will become n square divided by 2 but there is one factorial to outside if you multiply it it will be your n square by 4 n square by 4 something will be cancel out or what n square by 4 or uh, we will write n cube outside okay. let us write the particular term outside so it will be n cube by 3 minus n square by 2 and then what delta square y naught by 2 factorial let us keep it like this then the next term now it is uh, n to the power 4 by 4 minus 3 3 cancel n cube plus n square into how much delta q y naught by t factorial okay plus other terms plus the other terms will follow so how many terms will be there there will be n plus one terms why n plus one terms because we have taken n plus one arguments okay n plus one argument so this particular formula is called the above formula is known as known as general quadrature formula okay quadrature formula so why this is general because here n is present no? in place of n if you put a number then you will get a different formula in the next lecture we will uh, we will prove trapezoidal formula what is trapezoidal formula so here see in place of n okay in place of n if we put one then we will get a new formula which is known as trapezoidal formula in place of um, n if we put two then we get simpson's one third formula in place of n if we put three then we get simpson's three by eight formula okay and in place of n if we put six we'll get what Weddell's formula so in coming lectures we are going to uh, prove all those formulas together with some examples okay so hope uh, this the general quadrature formula is very much clear to all of you and thank you for watching